Hey guys, so I'm going to just get straight to the point. I haven't really put that much effort into this uh, channel because my other channel is doing a hundred times better I and mean, it's really hard to quantify. But I mean, you can tell by the numbers, the short is just ridiculous. So I've been making this content maybe a week in advance. It's been interesting content for me to make. Uh, there's been a lot of people losing money and they email me all the time. I found access to my email address, which I had lost. So in, I, don't, I don't know where why people are emailing me on that one instead of my marketing agency one, which I received some emails, but not nearly as much. And they're coming from ex-patrons, current Timmies, and everyone is very afraid including game stores. Uh, you got game stores trying to offload their entire flesh and blood product on me. And I don't even have a single flesh. I, I think I have maybe one flesh and blood card that just came in a random promo pack or something. But I've never played a game. So for me, um, I'm buying a lot of Weist. Uh, we're probably going to stop that soon. Uh, it doesn't look like Weist has, you know, it, uh, the prices continue to get very cheap, beautiful cards. And the IPs, you know, I'm a big fan of anime, so I like the IPs. But other than that, we haven't, I haven't bought any Magic, Pokemon related things. And I have, I don't own a single Disney Locana card. I own some One Piece finally, but that's because of my favorite characters more because I enjoy the characters than anything else, right? Uh, and then also I own a little bit of Final Fantasy because again, I love Final Fantasy. It's one of my favorite IPs. So I picked up some of their cards, which go for really, you can buy a whole binder for $200. Now, is it really that great of a binder? I'm not sure. I don't really know. But yeah, maybe I should buy some more Final Fantasy. They're very cheap. Final Fantasy. Okay, let me Google that. TCG. Probably should uh, see if there's any good auctions going. Yeah, the TFAs and so on. The boxes are really expensive, but the actual single cards are incredibly cheap. So anyway, okay, let's go back to the situation at hand. Holy shit, man, I lucked out. I didn't buy no uh, flesh and blood. And flesh and blood players, they're a very interesting breed of players, right? And they're different from investors. I think flesh and blood players are great. The investors, not so much. And the investors got owned. They got owned hard, man. I know Monarch was something that a lot of them invested in. And I the, the first edition, I don't even know this. Is there a Monarch Unlimited? But the first edition is selling for $40 a box. You sold two of them for 1000 And that was considered a, like a hot deal. You know, that was considered like, a, this is a hot deal. You What does it say? It's like, this will sell out or something like this. Right? Like, okay. All right. I mean, somebody had to take the W. I'm assuming people didn't open it. If they opened it, they will have lost even more money. I'm mean, assuming people probably held on to it, right? It's an investment. That's what I think, at least, that if you think it's an investment, you would hold on to it and you would make sure that um, you kept it sealed because it was sold to you as a sealed investment. And then you talk about MetaZoo. God damn, that's bad. And I don't know much about sorcery, or but I know that Locana and One Piece are in trouble. Digimon has always been in trouble from the get-go. I know Dragon Ball Z is going down nowhere every day. Dave and, every week, Dave and Adams has a new and lower price for Dragon Ball Z. I mean, if there's like one place to buy it, it I think it's Dave and Adams, right? Their price on this shit, like, if it's like a Friends card game, Dave and Adams will eventually have it. They think they, they get better to do. Actually, Jeff Wilson, sports card investor, had a one dollar. I don't. I'm pretty sure it's like one dollar a box, right? It can't be one dollar a pack, because then what? It, what did it cost? Like thirty six dollars a box? That would be too much. It was like one dollars uh, on whatnot. It was one dollar like a booster box of MetaZoo. They just want to get in. They just want to get rid of it, man. There's a lot of card games, and like, look at this like pile of cards here. There's a lot of things that you see here that probably not worth what you paid for it. And that's kind of the worst part about collecting in today's society. You, There are very few products that you can make money on. And even if those three products, you're not going to be able to get to them. Like MetaZoo is a great, MetaZoo is such a good example of like what I need to make an example of. Like 
if you bought in, if you were one of the early investors, but it's like friends and family round, it's almost like startup tech, right? If you're part of the friends and family round, you're going to do okay. But if you're any round, the later the rounds go and the more distributors, like I hate when, like the reason I don't like Alpha Investment, he marked up this shit like crazy for no reason. This, the thing, at no point in time was Monarch First Edition selling for $1,000 for two boxes minimal with a Patreon fee on top. Right? The playmat is worthless, and the promo card I've been told is also worth like $10. It's not the expensive promo card because so many people have this particular box. So that's a problem, yeah. I just think at the end of the day, like you have to like what you're buying. And a lot of people didn't, bought meta zoo and didn't like it a lot of people bought flesh and blood and they didn't like it they did not love it like at the end of the day if if you only have this right if that's all you have then what is there to say no this is the only thing you have and you don't actually even like it so when things when shit hits a fan you're like oh well you know what it's okay and that's sad in my opinion that's pretty sad a lot of people lost a lot of money on investing on tcg cards recently you don't need to take my word for it you can just see the prices and all this shit they've collapsed they've gone down to almost zero i'm looking at dragon ball z right now and on david adams and it's real bad it's, it's, they're giving out free Dragon Ball Z now if you buy like enough shit from them. They always give you like free stuff, which like, I, I appreciate. The Dragon Ball Z or, or Digimon, my god. Nobody talk about no Digimon no more. But this is just one of a few card games. Oh. Oh, you can sell an evolution box for $50 to them. Oh, they're buying. All right. All right. They're buying. They're buying one particular. Yeah, I, I mean, the Nationals, everyone will tell you, cards have gone down, and sports cards have gone down a ton in price. They have collapsed. They have just plummeted into oblivion. No one wants them. And at the end of the day, um, like, I'm looking at this one thing. It's called V Friends. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember that. It was uh, Gary V. That thing has, I mean, that thing they were selling for, like, what? four thousand dollars a booster box or in a booster box had like 10 cards in it i don't want to tell you this but the cards have definitely gone down in price a a lot guys a lot anyway i'm looking at the slab right now it's a cgc slab and the slab with already slab it's only ten dollars doesn't it cost like more than ten dollars to get it graded like who the hell is doing this stuff 